Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger will be out for the season. The team just announced 10 minutes ago that Roethlisberger will need surgery on his right elbow. That's expected to happen later this week. The thing that was most nerve wracking to me and, and probably Ashley was that what we heard from the doctors in terms of this has never been done to a quarterback before. I don't know of any quarterback that, that has torn this amount of the tendon off. You, you don't necessarily hear about the ones that are able to successfully play with you know, some symptoms and so they have it, it to a lesser degree. But um, with, to this degree where it, somebody came to surgery, th this was one of, the, one of the bigger tears that I had ever heard of. You know, I think more than anything, my reaction was I was sick for Ben. Um, I don't know that I, I don't know that I even weighed what it meant for us at that time. Just, I worked with this dude a long time, man. I've seen the things that he's been able to endure. Um, I know the toughness of the guy. I know the mentality of the guy. So I was just really sick for him. uncertainty at all, either from you or from Ben, about the surgery? No, I think that, you know, the, the decisions uh, on what to do and, and when to do it were, were proper. That final return to performance and ability to use that repaired tissue, that's the little unknown. And so uh, you can do the same repair on, on two different people, and it looks the exact same when you're done, and you might get uh, two slightly different results happening with your facial hair? I'm not going to shave or cut my hair until I can throw a football again. Like throw it like to a toddler or throw no, it? No, like throw it to one of my teammates, like a legit NFL pass. Okay, this is our starting point. Let's see the elbow. Right. No scars, no smiley faces yet. No smiley Just a little bruised. All right, we'll see. here we go. Um, it's always a little nerve-wracking getting ready for surgery. Um, luckily, I have a best friend with me. Uh, but we, I remember going out there, and we, we got to the hotel, and the team was actually playing San Francisco um, on Sunday. I think our surgery was on Monday. And so we got to the hotel, and we talked to the hotel, and they set up like this little kind of private room for us, brought a TV in. It's the first time I can remember watching a game, you know, in a long time with my guys playing. And, and um, it was nerve-wracking. I was up and down on the couch. I was... You know, just I was yelling at the TV and, and everything, and um, you know that was it was it was difficult watching that game because I wanted to be there with them, but knowing what the next day entailed, and you know you just you got butterflies, you got nerves, but you also know that this is kind of the first step. This is the first step in a journey back to where I want to get back to playing and stuff. So um, you just got to get ready, a lot of praying, and um, you know talking to the doctor and getting ready to go, and, and knowing that my agent was there and. Ashley was there, and um, the things are going to be okay. Good luck. What is this joke? <laughs> Woke up a little early for the delivery of milk on the cow this morning. We don't have a cow. Hallucinating now. Well, once his pain got under control, he did get a little loopy. And to have someone like Ryan there that he can joke with and have fun with was perfect. Um, it kind of got his mind off of what was happening, and they were throwing jokes around. It was quite entertaining, actually. Not too horrible. No, I was a little dizzy. But I'm okay. <laughs> Get rid of a couple of things. Well, on the plane, headed home, back to Pittsburgh. Thumbs up, sort of. A uh, little bit of pain last night, not too bad. Feel much better today, less swelling. Saw the doctor, he said everything looks good, so we're headed home. She doesn't want to leave the beach, but uh, really day one of the journey, so here we go. Hey guys. Oh boy, you wiped out. <laughs> okay. 
guys. I love you guys. What are you doing here? I was playing football. Who was winning? I was. I was. All three of you said I was. I was. I was doing this. So I didn't I went second Yeah, but then I was attacking. Wait, you were running to second base in football? Oh, forget it. <laughs> That's silly. Benj, what are you wearing? Did you sneak and make a touchdown? Stay down, Ellie. Um, it's Monday. It's one week removed from elbow surgery. Um, so, pain's getting better. Last night was probably the best night of sleep I had. Um, not a lot of discomfort. I mean, a little discomfort, not a lot. But um, it's slowly, finally getting better. I've been told that uh, tomorrow I actually might get this... Uh, <clears throat> splint and stuff cut off and put a brace on so that would be heavenly if that happens but we'll see um Steelers are playing tonight Monday night football against the Bengals big big game for both teams so hopefully we can get that one I'm gonna go and try and be on the sideline as long as coach lets me and um have the headset on and see what I can do to um help Mason and the other guys and just bring a little bit of encouragement probably good for both of us them and me to be there together so uh anyway most of the beard Coming in nice. Danger reserve, so they're down two tight ends and they make the trade for Nick. Third and two. Rudolph, how about it? James Cutter! Touchdown Steelers! last night Ooh. beat the Bengals um, Where are we going dr. Bradley's office I'm hoping I get to get this thing taken off and put my brace on um, we'll see fingers crossed because now I can hitch my elbow again <laughs> but it's got to be smart because I still can't use my hand but it'll be okay if I can get out of this cast I'll be happy I'll be happier Take, did they take this off once? No. Okay, I thought I I thought someone had said no, it had been changed once. No. Okay. This is fresh from LA. Yes. Okay. We'll take it like slowly take it out or what do we mm -hmm. do? Just keep it bent. It's fine, you don't have to hold it. Oh you just ripped the tape off. Oh. Oh I'm so sorry. It's kind of early in gots. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just ruined everything. She ripped all the stitches out there. Well, that's a lot bigger one than I expected. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Nope. Make this easier for you. I'm actually going to have you lay down. You go from just feeling this big plaster thing around your elbow to at least just a brace. And it's, so it's a totally different ball game. Um, so that was awesome to have that feeling. But you're still like so nervous because you don't want to screw something up. Like you don't want to set yourself back. You don't want to injure it. Um, so there's just all kinds of thoughts and, and precautions that you're going through in your head. The first floor of the house is motion. It's range of motion. It's not strength. It's not strength. But that doesn't make any sense, Doc. You want the strongest part of the house being at the bottom. No, wrong. I want my motion is my first floor. Okay. And the second floor, doctor, is um, strength. So then strength and then sports specific activity. Yeah. Um, when you do those, I mean, I don't think you should be throwing the ball for about six months. I yeah, that's what I would figure. Sitting here at uh, Benjamin's soccer practice. Um, I haven't really checked in in a little while. It's uh, Thursday, the October 3rd. A couple more days till I get my stitches out, but I'm not in that splint anymore. I'm just in this brace. So life is so much better. I can itch it. I can do so many more things. Still can't bend it, but uh, it's better. Uh, I just got a cold from Ashley. So a little under the weather, but um, still fun to be out here watching practice and then have a bunch of friends coming in this weekend for a Mercy Me concert and stuff. So looking forward to having all of them in and get a little break from the mental craziness of not being able to move my arm and use my fingers. So 
Anyway, you see the beard's looking nice. Way past the time. Man, Why would you bring her the other way? Got it. Well, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have all the power in your house, so Asher. Yes. <laughs> I convert her to Steeler fan. Work? Asher, are you a Steeler fan? Yeah, it can be uh, doing it. See? see? <laughs> I don't have your page. <laughs> are you guys having like a bromance here or something? Hey, man. <laughs> uh, we're talking about the you offensive the coordinator for the Cowboys. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I got questions. Sunday, October 6th. Big day today. I get the stitches out, supposedly. Doc Bradley's gonna take him out at the stadium today. Supposedly it's one long stitch and it's gonna hurt like crazy, but hopefully I don't cry. I get a little bit of movement hopefully today, so I'm excited. Just tell us you got You got some um, alcohol. You need something? Cause they, they'll come help you. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm good. I'm just, I'm just checking it out. <laughs> You take it out of the stitches? No, 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 I'm just not looking forward to this. You, you shouldn't be because it's going to hurt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're being honest, man. Well, don't, look, can we talk, before you do anything, can we talk, please? Yes. yes. Can we? I'm going to get this in, I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to get that man to roll up and try to move it in there. You're going to straighten this out. I can't straighten it. Right there. Oh, please, the one thing I'm not supposed to do is straight and you just no, no, pull that's straight. perfect. It's perfectly fine right there. Wait, wait, hold on. So okay. you're going to pull it back and forth? I have to oh, then fine. break up the adhesions in the thing. Usually there's an escape stitch there. I cut the escape stitch. Can I get a second piece on this? Is that, yeah. Yeah. Is that just just accurate? Do it. Doc? But then I do not know. Yeah, yeah, start to grab it. And then, but then, and then you're going to just, then I'm gonna snip how some. is it attached to my skin? Thank you. It's not, it's underneath your skin yeah. like this. It's weak, all right? So there's no. So what I have to do is I have to move it a little bit. Once it moves, then I'll cut that end off so I don't drag that through the wound. And then, are you gonna pull like, you're not You're not gonna go like, zink? No, you gotta go like this. Or you're gonna roll it. It's gotta hurt, it's gonna hurt. I'm just telling you it's gonna hurt. Do you want a second hemostatic? Yeah, I want a second hemostatic. You tell me what. I mean, duck. It's, I know, I know, but I'm not happy either. Do I look happy? Yes, because I ready? think you like... Are you ready? I think you like causing me pain, okay? <laughs> Just be... You ready? No. Okay, scissors, cut that. Really close. Here, no, wait, wait, don't do it yet. Cut it way low. Okay, Benjamin, this is it. Just... We're done. Ah! I told you it hurt. I didn't lie to you. I don't lie to you. Did it hurt more than you thought? Yes. Yes, it did. It was um, it was a different kind of pain. It literally just felt like he was just pulling for a minute nonstop. And so it was a very uncomfortable feeling. <laughs> Where's my wooden stick? <laughs> wow, it still feels like you're pulling it out. I told you it was going to hurt. That's spectacular. Okay, okay. No, you're not. No, don't, don't apologize if you're not really sorry. All right. Thanks, Doc. No problem. Don't ask me to critique, uh, <laughs> critique the point. <laughs> I'm sure we get something now. I'm going to figure out what it is. That's oh, it feels so, so good. It's right. great. Right. Doc, that's right. good game, Doc. <laughs> I think people, you know, their expectations of him are so high, and they just don't know what he goes through to to provide, you know, provide them with that kind of entertainment, uh, that kind of team. I just, I just don't think they really never understood that. That 
what it takes for him to get up sometimes from what he goes through. But we see it on a daily basis. That's what I think I think people got to realize, you know. He's, he, he's been through an awful lot. I mean, over 220 little visits, little, you know, things of some sort. I mean, that's a lot. So I think I got to give him the benefit of the doubt here when he, when he comes back. And, and I think pretty sure Ben's going to be dead again. So what do you think motivates you now in this stage of your career? Um, what motivates me now? I think there's a lot of things still, which is crazy. I just think it's shifted. Like I think, like I'm motivated to win a Super Bowl because I want my kids to be up there to celebrate it with me. I think that he's motivated every day to wake up and be the best person that he can be, um, to, to be the best player that he can be. Um, first and foremost because of his faith and, and then secondly because he has a role in his family to do the best for Ashley and for his three children. What you do, man? Oh, you stepped on something. Also, you know, Ben has always taken great pride and the opportunity to be the quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So when you look at other motivations, um, the Rooney family, um, you know, Coach Tomlin, going back to Coach Cower, to Coach Randy, to Coach Drake, to um, all the different coaches, the people that have poured into him, um, you know, John Norwood, Dr. Bradley, uh, Burt Loughton. I mean, there's so many people, Teresa Varley, people in the organization, Omar Khan, that, that he is, he wants to do it for all of them. I'm motivated still to want to be the best to try and win Lombardi's for this city. Um, I'm motivated to want to try and be a Hall of Famer. I, I'm, I'm motivated to be, you know, those, and he's just on the football field. I mean, I, I'm, I'm motivated that I've got a lot of young guys now that are on my team that were literally in elementary school and even younger when I was started playing and winning Super Bowls, and they've been watching me for 17 years, and so. I want them to come to be a part of this team and be like, man, he was everything I thought as a young dude. Team on three, one, two, three, team! team. You know, I think this year's team is, is special because we've got a, a good group of guys that have kind of come up together now. You know, we've got, a, we're not a young team anymore. We've got some some older players, some veteran guys that are kind of in that 10, 11 year range. Um, and, and we've all been together for a while now. And we've got a good mix of like second, third, fourth year guys that are really talented. Um, and so you kind of get that good combination of older guys and younger guys that believe in each other. Um, this team is as much about each other as any team I've been a part of. I saw that last year even, um, guys fighting for each other, competing for each other. And so I'm just excited to be a part of a group of guys that, that really believes in each other and wants to play and win for each other. I know.